all right so we're still continuing with the data importation um in python we want to look at how to import or read the sas file in python using the jupyter notebook so as we have already explained first of all you have to ensure that this pandas library is installed in your um, jupyter notebook by making use of this code of line right so once you have already installed this you have to comment on it to skip that and the next thing is to load the library by making use of the import function so we import pandas as pd pd is just a short form of pandas so you have to run this line also once you have done this you have to load the data set right so i'm going to give a name for the data set to be let's say sas underscore data right and i'm going to use the pandas library so pd for pandas dot read underscore sas right then the name of their um sas file should have this extension sas 7 b d 80 right this will be the extension for the sas file so let's go to my current working folder you have to ensure that this file is in your current working directory right so that you can um, easily import or read the file so this is the name of the um sas file housing dot sas 7 b d 80 so this is what i'm going to use so let's continue so i have it should be in string so housing dot sas 7 b d 80 right so let's run this shift enter okay so now let's view the first five observations right so i'm going to use the name of the data sas underscore data dot heard so here we go this give us the first five observation for our data set um, maybe you want to look at the last five so let me copy this and paste change this to tail right so view the last five observation shift enter and here we go right so we can see that now let's look at the structure for our data set so structure of data set so sas underscore data dot info right so here we go we have 252 entries from 0 to 251 and that it has the number of rows and the data columns we have two of them the first one is house which is the data type is float we also have ir and the data type is float which are basically numeric so this is basically how to um, import or read a source file in python using the jupyter notebook